Welcome to Poland Daily History with me, Nicholas Richardson. In the previous episode, we discussed the successes on the field of one of the greatest Polish-American athletes ever and one of the finest baseball players to have lived, Stan the Man Muschel. In this episode, we will look more closely at his character, compare him with other baseball legends and also see what he did after he had ended his very successful baseball career. Remarkably, he uh, ended up being, uh, f he ended up being at the time uh, second in the most hits in baseball of all time. So a hit is any time you get to first, you have first base, second base, and third base. Uh, so any time you get to first base, it's a hit. That's called a single. Second base is a double, third base is a triple, and then if you get all the way around by hitting it over the fence, which he was also very good at, you come, uh, you call it a home run, which is the great thing. Okay, so, so to, cut a, to, to cut to the chase about Stan the Man Musial, he is considered at least one of the top ten players of all time. The son of immigrants, of immigrant father. I think the mother's family had been there at least a generation. And uh, he became one of the greatest players. There's a funny story about him, just to give you his character. No, no, please do. He was known for his sense of humor and for being an extremely uh, jovial, pleasant guy, very upbeat all the time. And uh, he uh, had, there was a story that they were on a plane uh, with, uh, with the team and they were traveling uh, in a storm and everybody was very worried except usually just sat there he said oh well you he sat there reading the paper he goes oh by the way you can imagine what the headline will be uh, plane crash, mutual lone survivor. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that was a typical uh, sort of story. That's why people love him. He had a great sense of humor and a great dedication. And you know, this can be, uh, that's why I called him the man, because he was always there. You could always depend on him when those were good qualities, not considered toxic masculinity. He was a quiet, jovial, uh, in command, uh, uh, generous fellow, right? He also um, had, as I said, the fourth most hits. At the time, he was one of the greatest home run hitters, but when he ended his career in 1963, by the way, he was friends with President Kennedy and had campaigned for him. They were the same age. Uh, and Musial uh, lived a very long time. He lived till 2000, uh, I think, 13, and he was 93 uh, when he died. So he lived a very long and, and happy life uh, and a great, a great contributions. You know, he, had a, he was always in St. Louis, and he had a restaurant there that was very popular. It was called Stan Musial and, uh, and something else. What was it? Stan Musial and Biggies or something like that? He had a friend, that was, and his nickname was in the title. I, I don't know if that's correct. Um, at any rate, uh, when you're looking at the, the greatest players who've ever played baseball. He's certainly, as I said before, in the top 10. But just to tell you the kind of company that he's in, he's in the same company with Babe Ruth, who most people think yeah, yeah, is even, the even those of us who don't know anything about baseball. Yeah, yeah. Babe Ruth. Ty Cobb, the okay. Georgia Peach. <laughs> Babe Ruth, they named a candy bar after him called the Baby Ruth. You can still get it today. Um, he was uh, the greatest home run hitter. Uh, and still, I mean, you know, for his time, people have passed his record, but really there's nothing more august than the films of Babe Ruth playing and hitting right. the long ball. Well, yeah. I fear... Willie Mays, Hank Aaron, wait a second, <laughs> uh, Ty Cobb, the Georgia Peach. Uh, uh, and Stan the Man. Stan the Man. I put him top five. Top five, a long and happy life, an immense contribution to American sport. Yeah. We've got to stop there. But An amazing guy. We've got to stop there. One of the, a great American. But thank you for yeah, that, Will. I could talk about him forever. They are, Will could talk about this and many other subjects forever, and I hope mm -hmm. he will come back and talk to us. But for there, we must leave it. And I think we leave it on a high note. A long and happy life. An American who made... Uh, an American of, son of Polish immigrants who made an immense contribution to baseball, the national game, you would say, of the United States. And so we have it the immense contribution Poles have made not only to Poland, but those who have ventured us overseas have made also immense contributions, in this case particularly to the United States. That's all we've got time for on this programme, but thank you for watching and do join us again on Poland Daily History because there's so much more we can talk about.
Thank you for watching.